Hey guys, it's Lauren. Thank you for joining me for another video. This video is a Leilani skincare review. I've rounded up the various Leilani products that I own and uh, I'm gonna talk about them. Uh, full disclosure, I am a Leilani affiliate, uh, a Leilani ambassador, so that's like the Glossier rep-ish of Leilani, so just so you know. But I have purchased the majority of these products myself with a few of them that were very graciously sent to me by Leilani. Now, if you're not familiar with Leilani skincare, they are a really, really, um, I'm gonna say like indulgent, <laughs> um, almost very luxurious uh, skincare, at least to me, very luxurious feeling skincare line that is out of Hawaii. Uh, it is founded by Leah. She is a duly trained esthetician. She was a spa director. Um, and yeah, she developed this skincare line and they use mainly organic ingredients. Some of them even sourced uh, in Hawaii themselves. She makes all of the products, I believe, herself in small batch stuff. So it's a very small uh, company, which I really, really admire and appreciate. Now, they aren't like super crazy affordable, but on the same sort of spectrum, uh, I think they are very um, well priced. I find them to be as uh, ever bit as high quality and as luxurious and indulgent to use as say like De Mamuel or uh, True Botanicals or Tata Harper or May Lindstrom or any of those types of brands, but uh, with they are very much not those brands price range uh, for the most part. You know, some of the some of the items are a little higher priced and whatnot. But yeah, I find them in relation to being handmade and the quality of ingredients and just the joy of use to um, be top notch <laughs> is basically what I'm getting at. Now, um, I haven't tried the entire line, but I do have quite quite a few guys to talk about so I'm gonna start with talking about the different oils the serums elixirs that they have now they're all oil blends um, they're not like a single origin oil but they're a blend of different organic oils and some essential oils as well uh, they currently have four different guys that have sort of different highlighting functions and like times of use. And they are all very antioxidant rich, nourishing, very uh, lovely, wonderfully hydrating oils. I'm gonna start with the Champagne Serum, which is probably uh, the most famous out of all the Leilani oils, made famous by Caroline Hirons. She talked about it quite a bit on her like YouTube and her blog, as well as I believe she features uh, featured it in a cult beauty box. Now the champagne serum, its sort of function while being very moisturizing and nourishing is to be anti-inflammatory and redness reducing. It's supposed to help sort of balance the skin. So if you have any sort of like irritation or problematic skin, this might be one of them to try. It is based in uh, grapeseed, Chardonnay, grapeseed oil, champagne, Chardonnay, uh, but, it, it, uh, but it is also blended with uh, Yehoba and rose hip. Uh, it has a few different types of tea in it, like Robius, uh, green tea, as well as white tea. And it has a variety of essential oils like uh, lavender, chamomile, and uh, rose as well. And it has calendulin, vitamin E, and uh, sunflower. Uh, I think uh, I think that's all the ingredients. I'm sure there's some that I'm forgetting, but uh, this has a updated formula that now includes blue tansy. I haven't tried that one, but I did feel it, and it's very um, it's very similar in texture, although it has a slightly more green color to it because blue tansy uh, it is when it is distilled when it is made it turns into a really bright blue color and i think there's been some ingredient shuffle in sort of the listing but for the most part it's all the same except for the addition of blue tansy so i can imagine with that with the blue tansy it's just going to help making it even more anti-inflammatory and redness reducing and uh yeah i really like blue tansy it is in the blessed beauty bomb which i'll 
get to later on in the thing. So the other oil that you can use both AM and PM is the Siren Serum. This one is vitamin C focused. It does have quite a lot of vitamin A in it as well, but it's very brightening, illuminating, toning, uh, very glowy uh, in its sort of focus. So with that, I tend to like to use vitamin C more so in the morning. So although I will reach for this at night, I do find myself liking to use it in the AM, especially mixed in with the Aloha because that's a really good uh, morning oil. It's got morning in the name. But uh, yeah, so the Siren Serum is based in organic golden Jehovah mixed in with organic sea buckthorn CO2 and algae. And then it does have quite a bit of different essential oils, a lot of different citrus essential oils, and it's got lavender, jasmine, carrot seed, um, a few different types of chamomile and ylang ylang and a few others. So it does have a really lovely uplifting citrusy, but also like you can smell the jasmine in there as well. Um, I find that this is a really lovely oil to use for uh, a massage, uh, a facial massage, as well as like mixing in with some of the different Leilani masks. And I do find this to be very radiant radiance uh, inducing. So the evening replenishing elixir is the PM uh, focused oil. This is very vitamin A rich, so it is very anti-aging focused. It again has a lot of very antioxidant and omega rich oils in it. It has quite a large blend of variety of oils in it that are supposed to help replenish, tone, soften, strengthen, regenerate the skin. It's a mix of very high quality uh, organic oils. So it's got organic moringa, marula, chia, prickly pear, carrot seed, watermelon, star flower, meadow foam, and then a variety of different sourced vanilla. With that, obviously it is very uh, vanilla scented. So I think that is the reason why this is like my most full least used out of the Leilani oils just because vanilla and I aren't like the best of friends although I can appreciate uh this vanilla because it's it's definitely like a, a nice vanilla and not like that like synthetic junior high Claire's purchased vanilla perfume scent uh if you know what I mean that that kind it's nicer than that it smells more like a delicious vanilla cake or something like that, but still vanilla and I are not besties. But with that, it is still um, a really nice oil. Um, none of these oils have ever broken me out, and when I have woken up the next day uh, having slathered this on my skin, my skin looks radiant, looks nice, looks uh, refreshed, and uh, yeah. And last but not least is the Aloha Ambrosia Morning Moisture Elixir. This is uh, an AM use, use oil, hence the morning in it. Um, and this one is definitely more just on like being very antioxidant rich, very nourishing and very uh, moisturizing nourishing. That sounded very strange. But um, this is actually probably my favorite out of the Leilani oils. I really like using this in the morning because it sinks in so quickly. It is the lightest weight out of all of the oils. So if you're like in a rush to get ready and just like don't have too much time to wait on your skincare and you know, you need to get going, this is really great for that. And I also really like using this in my makeup routine. Um, even after I've like done my skincare, I like putting this on like again or on top of things because not only does it sink in really quickly, but it leaves a very like toned, even, almost matte leaning glow and works really well for applying makeup on top of. Yeah, it like works well as a primer I found. So I really like it for that. It is based in squalene, which I think is partially why it creates that sort of matte glow that's easy to work off of because squalene is so like akin uh, to skin. It also has a bevy of other ingredients in it. It's got aloe, goji berry, maracuja, kiwi seed oil, guava, sunflower, and then it has a very, like it has an unlisted uh, proprietary um, listing of essential oils similar to um, the, uh, the uh, evening guy has that as well. But um, yeah, this one has 
more of like that very berry fruit sort of scent to it, but also quite creamy. Um, it's almost like an orange creamsicle in a way, which I really like. And yeah, definitely one that when I run out of, uh, will be on the top of my list to repurchase. So the Blessed Beauty Balm is, I think, one of the other more famous items similar to the Champagne Serum and uh, the Mermaid Mask. The Blessed Beauty Balm is another one of those like instant, when it runs out, want to have it back in my collection. It's very much one of those like hero bombs that I've been seeing, I've been noticing a lot of brands come out with, which I'm all about. I love, I love both face bombs and cleansing bombs. It's one of my most favorite type of consistencies to use. And yeah, I've been seeing a lot of brands like Eight Faces has like a hero bomb and there's like the, the indigo one and like there's the one from May Lindstrom and yeah, just like hero bombs where it's like a bomb texture or like a solid oil, which this very much feels like. And oh, this has such a, an absolutely beautiful, beautiful scent. It's very soothing, very nurturing. And I find that this is one of the like really good like introductory Leilani products that and like the mermaid mask because this mixes really well with other brands it's just this just pairs really well with a variety of different products and is a great like topper to any skincare routine and this sort of lovely sorbet-esque texture like buttery texture like it really emulsifies as you work it in with your finger and just turns into a really beautiful luxurious oil and this really, really beautiful uh, pink, pink color. But this is definitely one of those like great multi-use products. I've heard people use this as like a cleansing balm and things like that, but I mainly just use it as um, a, a moisturizer, a topper to my skincare routine. Um, but I have also heard people using this as a mask and things like that. But it is a lovely blend of uh, argon and camellia seed oil. Those are like the base of it, but it does also have shea butter uh, and cocoa butter, which are two things that oftentimes like can break me out and cause congestion. But I have not experienced that with this, but it also has a nice blend of marula, uh, moringa, and maracuja, the three, the three M's oil, as well it has blue tansy, orchid extract, uh, neroli, and rose hips. So you can really smell the, the neroli, blue tansy, orchid scent in this one. It's um, very, very pretty. I've heard that this is like one of the next perfumes she's gonna come out with is like making a scent out of the uh, Blessed Beauty Balm. Oh, it also has rose clay in it, which I think probably uh, helps with making things not like congest um, from being in there. Or maybe it's just uh, other items that I've used shea butter in them, it was something else, or just this has a better quality, I don't know. But this never irritates my skin. If anything, it just nurtures and feeds it and um, yeah, if you can't tell, this is also one of my favorite products. Now Leilani has, I'd say, two or three more masks. Um, I just have these two, which I think are the more known ones. The Leilani uh, Mermaid Mask, super food for your skin, and the Honey Love, which is another multi-use product, a mask cleanser exfoliant, which I uh, mainly, mainly use as a mask, which then I'll use emulsify into an exfoliant cleanse situation. Uh, the mermaid mask is like almost gone, but it is a very dense, dark, green situation. And usually the oil, I didn't mix mine up as well as I should have as I used it. Both of these, you like really wanna make sure you mix them up each time you use them because the ingredients can separate and then you'll have like an uneven situation like I do with like a bunch bunch more oily liquid at the bottom than should be there, but it's still all really good. And this one is like nickname, like the smoothie superfood for your face. If I have very downtrodden, hungover, just like not good looking kind of skin and I need like a boost, this is the mask that I will reach for. Like really good like pre-event um, uh, need to perk up my skin kind of mask or like 
if you've just not been taking very good care of your skin lately and sort of like need to jolt your mask, uh, jolt your mask, jolt your skin back, um, this is a good one. I kind of like equate it to eating a bunch of fast food for several days and then um, you drink a green juice. And um, although you're not like 100% better, your tummy's more settled kind of situation. Because it is like a thicker mask, it's better to use on damp skin. Uh, I'll often use like the Leilani mist that I have or some sort of hydrosol or mist that I have. Spritz my face, scoop out and rub onto the skin. You can leave it on for like five, 15 minutes it says, but I definitely stretch both of these masks out to like sometimes a full 30. And I do often mix these two together when I put them on. So both of these masks are uh, based in honey, uh, organic, uh, raw Hawaiian honey. But this one also has Hawaiian spirulina, uh, chlorophyll, it's got green tea, sea clay, algae, along with, I think it has the sea buckthorn CO2, um, vanilla CO2, and then a variety of different essential oils like chamomile, geranium, lavender, and then uh, it has some absolutes in it like um, lotus flower absolute and some other guys. This one is delicious, nice little ritual, and it washes off really well. I don't find that this one to be um, aggravating or exfoliating in any way, kind of like how this one definitely has some exfoliating properties in it. This does have some like small ground up crystals as well as different like seeds, berries, fruits in it that they're ground very finely so they shouldn't cause any micro tears and do give like a really nice physical exfoliant as well as um, a chemical exfoliant because of some of the different uh, ingredients in here. So like I said, this guy is based in organic Hawaiian raw honey and then it has some different fruits in it like noni fruit and it's got rose clay, hibiscus, lavender flower, Yehova, and then it has chamomile and lavender essential oils uh, along with the um, crystals that are ground up. Now, um, some people get this, like it comes in two sizes. I have the 50 mil uh, and it comes in the larger size because a lot of people do use this as like a cleanser exfoliator. But um, as I said, uh, I like to mix these two, um, but sometimes I will use this on its own and I'll use it on wet, on a wet face and then like let it sit for a few minutes. And then I'll take a little bit of like water on my hands or even like spritz my face and just like work in the exfoliator properties on there and then rinse it clean. It's definitely something I'll like to do sometimes in the morning. Uh, like the other day, I put this guy on in the morning and like let it sit on my face while I got in the shower and then like worked it off in the shower. But because of the mix of ingredients in here, this is definitely something I reach for to like help brighten. So definitely like marrying these two together. And the last Leilani item I have to share with you is the Citrus and Citrine Regenerating Toner. If you are a Neroli citrus loving scented person, this is definitely something to reach for. This is designated more towards like mature uh, oily skin types, which I have combo skin, so I'm able to make this work really well for me. It's made with Hawaiian spring water. It's got aloe vera. It has some different, I think it has sea slit and witch hazel, and then a variety of different essential oils in it, like neroli and orange and mandarin. And it also has turmeric in it. Uh, as well as a hefty amount, uh, I believe, of vegetable glycerin. So that helps be um, hydrating as glycerin is. But this guy is not greasy. It's slightly hydrating and really helps tone. And I actually really like using this in the morning in my makeup routine. Uh, I find Neroli to be very uh, uplifting, uh, one of my favorite scents. And uh, yeah, like I said, I like using this in my makeup routine to like set or prep. Uh, this is also really good to layer with in a skincare routine as you like layer on different oils or uh, if I want to get like super indulgent, I'll make like a cocktail where I'll spritz this onto my face and use that to apply my masks. 
Um, and then when that's done and I wash off the masks, I'll spritz this on again and with like a mixture of like bless and an oil, I will uh, do a little massage of that onto my face. And I don't know if I mentioned this, but I also like to like put like a pump of champagne or like um, siren into uh, a little bowl with the masks and put them on for like an extra thing to apply it with. Um, anyways, uh, this one, just like the, the ruby one, it's like the rose and hibiscus one, has a little gemstone in it. This one has a citrine gemstone, which citrine is supposed to like help, uh, it like represents manifestation and like willpower and imagination so um it's supposed to be like a good crystal or whatever for that i, I don't know much about crystals but i looked looked that up before doing uh the this video and i think that works really well with being neroli based because i find citrus scents citrus scents to be very like uplifting and um like simultaneously calming but energizing so like focusing and citrine is like seems to be very based on like ambition and manifesta manifestation and like power of will which I thought was like a nice little touch and it like helps you to make sure to mix mix it up beforehand in case anything separated the only issue is um sometimes it like pools if i've let it sit too long without using it the spritz on this guy is actually really nice it has a really well done mist but for whatever reason sometimes it like collects right along here and then you get like big droplets big fan of this brand as if you couldn't tell so hopefully this little roundup review kind of breaking down these different products that I have tried is helpful. If you have any further questions about Leilani and any of these products here, uh, anything that I haven't addressed, feel free to uh, list so down below and I'll do my best to get back to you, even though I'm, uh, I do get back to everybody, I'm just really slow um, and easily sidetracked. But if there's any other products from Leilani that you've tried that I haven't mentioned that you love, let me know so the next time I place an order, um, uh, maybe I will pick that guy up because there's quite a bit I haven't tried. But uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, I found it helpful. If you did, give it a thumbs up, uh, subscribe, and um, yeah, guys, I'll see you. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.